Good morning friends, we are hours away from the next Pokemon Presents dropping and it has been confirmed to be 35 minutes long so we know it's going to be jam packed full of Pokemon news. On top of that this morning we've had an image come out from the Nintendo Switch Online from Japan that gives us more hints at what we could expect from this next Presents. We're going to take a deep dive into that as well as all of my other predictions for the Presents in today's video. So 2 p.m. British Standard Time on the 8th of August, we know the next Pokemon Presents will be dropping and with it, we're going to get a lot of Pokemon news. On top of that, this morning, we've had a pretty interesting image pop up on the Nintendo Switch Online account from Japan. We've got this post from Light and he says we have one part leaked from the Direct. The fact that the Nintendo Switch Online from Japan leaked accidentally, Psychic Mewtwo Terror Raid is real, guys. So this is the image that popped up earlier today and you can see it is an advertisement for the nintendo switch online services and behind this image is a lot of gameplay footage you've got the pokemon trading card game for the game boy color here you've got a zelda game and then you've got some splatoon footage down in the bottom of this image and the big image here in the top right hand corner which is the one i think everyone's getting more excited about is this mewtwo terror raid image which kind of signals that we are going to be getting a next seven star terror raid event and it will be for that mewtwo which we've kind of expected for a long time now if you remember back from the last update we had matt yukana data mine the update and there was a bit of text in there for Mew is going all out against this formidable opponent which directly relates to a Mewtwo 7 star terror raid event when they injected Mewtwo into the games as a terror raid event and they took the Mew in you can see the Mew got a huge stat boost 50% boost to its HP and 20% boost to all of its other stats making Mew pretty strong going in against the Mew too and this image here if we go back to it it does confirm that the Mew to will be a psychic terror typing so this is likely something that we're going to see confirmed at the end of the presents tomorrow when it does drop and after that the Mewtwo 7 star terror raid event will run in conjunction for the rest of the week with the world championships that will obviously be happening over in Japan so it feels like it's all but confirmed through this image that Mewtwo and that 7 star terror raid event for Mewtwo will be coming to Scarlet and Violet very, very soon. Whether or not they will do a mystery gift alongside that for the Mew, so you have a Mew to take into the games, or whether you'll have to acquire one elsewhere. You can get one through Brilliant Diamond, Shine and Pearl, of course, if you have a copy of Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, you get a mystery gift for the Mew early on in the games. And there's a bunch of other ways that you can get Mew in your game through Pokemon Home, to take into this raid but how they will set this up is still a bit up in the air and i'm sure they'll go into more details in the direct when that does drop tomorrow we've also got some information in regards to pokemon home now this has probably been discussed quite a bit but there it is interesting to note that there is going to be maintenance on pokemon home at the same time the direct is going to go live so this is pretty big because why else would they be doing pokemon home update it is a pretty long maintenance period as well six hours so it's not just a little patch or a little bit of maintenance it feels like they are going to be implementing in something into pokemon home that would have in relation to maybe an announcement that we're going to see from that pokemon presents tomorrow and you can go down and read some of the comments here we've got this one the same time as the pokemon presents does this mean more pokemon will be added to scarlet and violet for compatibility or something just in time for the dlc what if they are dropping the dlc right after and then javier going on to say something is going down now i don't feel like we're going to be getting the dlcs straight after the presents tomorrow that is i just cannot see that happening we've already had a preparation period that was announced in japan that was running until the 31st of august so we know we're not going to expect any of the DLCs before the 1st of September. So I imagine this maintenance period here is gonna be related to something, potentially the Mewtwo Terror Raid event that we could see, or maybe something else that might get announced in that presents tomorrow. So we'll have to wait and see for that. I just wanted to throw this up because I do find this maintenance period very, very interesting. And especially because it is running alongside that presents and the potential announcements that we're gonna be getting in the game. And of course, the official trailer from pokemon for the presents was this little video as well which does kind of show off some imagery of an m here if we go back to it there you can see there and it does interestingly the m splits into two so m standing for mew 
or Mu2, and then it splits into two M's, Mu2. I don't know if I'm looking into this too much, but it is pretty interesting. And obviously with the graphics and things like that, the purple coloring and just highlighting that M, which it does two times in a row throughout this little trailer video here. It, it kind of indicates that Mewtwo is going to be coming. Obviously we had Mewtwo kind of coming to Pokemon Unite recently as well. Uh, so that is kind of indicative, especially with this image here, that Mewtwo seven star terror raid coming probably after the presents, they'll probably announce it to be dropping straight away. I would imagine or very shortly after like they did with the walking wig and iron leaves event that happened. Pokemon day presents back in February. And also other information that has come out very recently is that there has been three new videos that are all private dropped onto the official Pokemon YouTube channel. This again, is courtesy of light. So three new videos have been uploaded to the Pokemon YouTube channel here and you, and you go down to their playlist here and the videos here are all set to private. So you can imagine these videos are all going to be containing information that will be dropping in that presents separate ones. Be one for the DLCs, a trailer, maybe one for a new Pokemon and then who knows what the third and final one will be. But I would love to hear what you think as well. And then the overall 35 minute Pokemon presents again, featuring a lot of light today. So a big shout out to light for all his work that he does. But I do feel like this lines up pretty well from other presents that we have had in the past and the structure that we probably will see going into this presents tomorrow, starting off with Pokemon worlds, because that is on the forefront of everything. It will be kicking off this coming weekend and then into Pokemon unite. We know we've had updates there with Mewtwo and it gets the Mewtwo formal kind of started at the start of the presents. You got Pokemon TCG, so we'll probably see the the 151 set in that Pokemon Go. There's loads of things. Pokemon Go Fest is happening at the minute, and loads of other events are coming up in Pokemon Go. So they'll probably touch on that a little bit. Obviously, Pokemon Masters, which the last update had the leaked information about this Pokemon presents in, so they'll definitely be touching on that. GBA ports, which Light does discuss, but I think from the image that we've got here, I don't expect us to be getting the GBA ports in this presents unfortunately i would love nothing more than to get red blue yellow gold silver crystal and then ruby sapphire and emerald in this presents but i just can't see them dropping it just yet pokemon sleep of course it has just released and detective pikachu 2 which has been doing the rounds in the rumor mill for a long time now so i'd expect us to get a bit more news on that and then they will probably like light says end with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, a trailer for the new DLCs, and maybe even a date for when we can expect those to drop. But the big thing here is, I think at the end of that presents, we are gonna see a Mewtwo seven star terror raid announced, and it will have some interaction with Mew. We know that whether or not they're gonna do a special Mew giveaway, a mystery gift at the end to kind of correlate with that terror raid event, who knows, but it will be interesting to see nonetheless, and we have not got very long until we do find out what all of this information is and what we can expect to see in these games but like i said let me know down below in the comment section what you think about this will we see this seven star terror raid event for mewtwo announced tomorrow i'm pretty sure we will and how do you think we're going to get a mew do you think it's going to be mystery gift or do you think you're going to have to have your own in game if you'd like to see a best build for this mewtwo seven star terror raid put together let me know down in the comment section below i will happily put one together but unfortunately because i'll be flying to japan when this presents goes live, I won't be able to cover it. So I'll be landing in Japan about 11 hours after the presents has gone live. So you guys will know all of the information, but we will do a recap video here on the channel going over everything that has been announced. And of course, any of the raid updates we will do a best build if there are alternatives to the Mew, but it might just be an interaction where you go into the raid and you're automatically paired up with Mew. You don't actually take a Mew into the raid and it's not something that you actually own. It just comes along and kind of gives you a hand in the raid. I don't know how it's gonna interact, but I'm hoping for the latter where we get a mystery gift from Mew, we can train it up and then take it in and then reap the rewards from this seven star Mewtwo terror raid event. And hopefully we can catch it. I'm praying that it's not gonna be one of these terror raid events where we can only go in and beat the Mewtwo and then it disappears into the ether and we can't ever obtain it in our games. It would be nice if they do allow us to catch it. And you would kind of think they will if it has that mightiest mark like a lot of the other seven star terror raid events have. But 
we're going to end it there, friends. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all have a brilliant time watching The Presents. I'm looking forward to catching up with it. And if I do have Wi-Fi on the plane, I will try and tune in, but I don't feel like that's going to be very likely. So let me know down in the comment section below and let me know about that best build. And I will see you all in another video very soon. I'll catch up with you from Japan later in the week. Have a great rest of your day. Take care of yourselves. And until then, take care. Bye-bye.